It's really important to close all the registers in your store regularly. We recommend retailers do this at the end of each day and have a closing process for their staff to follow in each outlet. This should include counting the cash takings and removing them from the cash drawer, summing up your electronic payment types if required, like Visa and FPOS, and closing your registers in Vend. Remember to close any registers linked to an online store as well. If you have a register linked to an online store, once you have closed the register, the first sale received will open the register again. This means you don't have to reopen it each day, but if you do receive a sale after you close your store for the day, but before midnight, remember it will be included in the next day's register closure, but in today's sales reports. When you close a register in Vend, an accounts receivable invoice will be created in Xero. The customer name will be the name of the register in Vend. The invoice will include product sold. Depending on the setting you choose, this will either be summed per product or per account code, or listed per sale. The amounts will exclude tax. If the day's takings included any account sales, a note of the amount of payments taken for account sales that day will be seen. The payments themselves will be shown on the account sale invoice instead. Lay-by or lay-away sales will be reported in parts as they are paid off, as the zero invoice for the register closure must have a zero dollar balance. This means that if the customer pays a 50% deposit, half of the quantity of each of the items sold will be recorded in the register closure total that night, along with that payment. Each time the customer makes a payment, the payment amount along with the corresponding amount of the lay-by products will be recorded in that day's register closures. That means you might see some strange quantities in Xero for these items. It's important to remember that the register closure report in Vend will still show the full value of the sale. An added feature to your register closures is cost of goods sold, commonly known as COGS. To enable posting COGS with your register closure, navigate to the Zero Mappings page next to Register Settings and enable the Cost of Goods Sold switcher. Once this is enabled, two fields will appear. Stock on Hand, which Vend automatically maps for you, and Cost of Goods Sold, which you will need to be mapped to an expense account in Zero. This account can be a depreciation, direct cost, expense or overhead account. Your requirements may vary depending on your current management of Xero. Always speak to a bookkeeper or an accountant to make sure this is set up in the best way for your business. With the feature turned on and saved, your future register closures will now create an invoice bill for cost of goods sold. Just visit your register closure report and find your register closure summary. Your COGS bill invoice should post automatically, but if it doesn't, just click the button at the top of your register closure summary. Every time you close the register, two invoices will be posted to zero. Your register closure, which displays your takings, and your COGS bill invoice that will display a zero dollar invoice that contains your cost of goods sold and inventory assets.